What's up everybody? Back again with another tutorial video on actually our laundry room. And I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to update your laundry area. And, um, you know, just wanted to, to kind of show you what we did um, to kind of do this on a budget too. Um, super simple. So we actually updated our dryer. I actually found this on Facebook Marketplace and was able to stack it on our current washer that we had, um, kind of to maximize our space in this um, in this mud room, I, I would say, slash laundry room. And uh, this cabinet here was not here. Um, I can uh, probably try and show you an old photo or something like that of kind of what we had. We just had a washer dryer over or washer here and a dryer, old dryer, uh, just sitting kind of on, on the floor there and nothing else added in here. So we wanted some more storage space. So that's what we did. I actually found this here at Home Depot. This is actually considered a utility uh, cabinet and comes pre-painted. It's, uh, I believe, Huntington Bay um, brand. And we, we just like the shaker style look. Uh, shaker style is just this style of, of cabinet. Um, but this gave us a lot more space out here. And you can see we have the dog food out here. So we plan on putting dog food down here and kind of those supplies and then mixed with laundry and that sort of thing here. Um, but what I want to show you is I got really lucky. Um, we actually had a space here that I could add a sink. Everybody wants a laundry sink. You know, it's, it's just so nice when you're doing, um, especially when you have kids or anything like that, but when you're doing laundry, just to kind of wash things there and maybe get some stains off or anything like that. Um, so I wanted to show you this actually is, is kind of more... Um, uh, more more to the video here what I wanted to explain. So what I went ahead and did, I added some plumbing here and um, I actually brought this cabinet out a little ways because it made it a lot easier for me to be able to, um, you know, get my plumbing in behind uh, the cabinet there uh, rather than having to cut into the wall and, you know, add more space and all that sort of stuff. Um, so actually, <laughs> My wife and I, we, we came up with this design and this made it the most simple uh, for us to add. And luckily, I might be able to show you here, I had a clean out uh, that was actually attached to the laundry area. So with that clean out, I was able to tie in uh, my drain for my sink and add, add a sink here. Um, I actually picked this cabinet up uh, also at Home Depot and it comes with the cabinet which is really nice. They have slow closing hinges on it. It's just a, a nice clean cabinet. Um, really easy to install. Um, came with the sink, everything, all, all in one, the faucet. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but what I had to do is actually add just like a, a small slab of, of uh, countertop and luckily my dad actually had um, a piece laying around the house that's actually for a vanity and what that is is actually uh, this was a 30 inch one I was able to cut it down on a tile saw but most of the time you can find um, a 24 inch what this is is actually 24 inches and I needed about a four inch space in the back um, to make my space for my plumbing. So I went ahead and used that piece, just made a small little countertop basically. And my wife was really happy with it because she can put some soap back here or, you know, other cleaning supplies and uh, just going to silicone that down uh, once I'm done with everything. So kind of wanted to get, um, you know, make a, make a big update. That was pretty simple. But what I wanted to show you, and I'm going to set you down here is I wish I was looking around for other videos and I could not find anything. How to get from, and this is just to make it easy. Um, you know, if you wanna add a sink behind your washer and dryer, you already have water supply here. Typically, uh, you're gonna hook your washer uh, up here, you know? Um, so what I went ahead and did 
is I did a little research and I wanted to find something that I could add my faucet in here. Uh, because I'm because I don't feel like adding another shutoff or anything like that. I went ahead and found this. Just a garden hose Y. And what that's going to allow um, is me to split uh, so I can, and I'm going to hook it up and show you guys just because I didn't find anything out there on YouTube. And um, I'm just going to do a quick setup. Obviously, I'll go back after this video and tighten everything up. But what I want to show you is I'm going to hook up a Y here. This is my cold side. And I went ahead and replaced this. This was really leaking pretty bad. Um, so I went ahead, shut the water off and replaced this one. And this is my cold side. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And like I said, after the video, I want to tighten everything up, make this look a little bit better, but for the video's sake and not to take up too much of your time, I'm going to show you. So I found this, it's a dishwasher elbow and what it has, I have this one open is basically a garden hose hookup that goes to a 3 8 compression. So I'm gonna take this nut off, that 3 8 compression. I won't be needing that. I'm gonna hook it up right here. Boom, shakalaka. And I have this coming from my faucet and actually the lines were long enough for my application that it actually reaches like perfect. So like I said, I'm gonna kind of clean this up, this area. I might tweak this a little bit so I can kind of hide it um, just to make things look nicer. But all I do is gonna hook this up here and that gets me my faucet supply. Just like so. And the threads, they're not wanting to start for me. There we go. So, like I said, I'm going to go back through, tighten everything up, get this hot water side set up, and then I got water hook up. So, just a quick video. I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to add a sink right behind your washer and dryer. So, thanks for following along. Hope this video helps you guys out. Maybe you want to do a little update. Make the wifey happy. You know, this was kind of a, a really simple update and was really stoked to uh, be able to add a sink behind our washer and dryer, next to our washer and dryer. So I uh, hope you guys like it. Nice little video for you. Cheers, everyone.